Greetings, everybody. Chaplain Bob Walker here. Turn your Bibles to Isaiah chapter 66. This is going to be the end of the Isaiah series. Um, in John 8, 12, Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Isaiah 66 roughly matches the book of Revelation. I'm trying to keep these under 15 minutes, so what I am going to do is I'm going to read Isaiah 66, make this a part A, and then I'll do the commentary and make that a part B. And uh, please remember, if you want a copy of all my Bible teachings, send me a USB, drop me a note, I'll give you an address, whatever. Send me a USB. I'll be more than happy to copy them all and get them off to you. And uh, I am on BitChute for now. I've heard BitChute is even uh, deleting channels. Because I just don't know how long I'm going to be on the tube. If I was more popular, I'd probably be off. And there are certain things I'd like to talk about, but... Uh, if you uh, talk about certain things that are going on in the nation with uh, burnings and problems with large groups of people of a certain ethnicity, well, you'd find your channel deleted. Happens all the time. So... All right, Isaiah chapter 66. 66 chapters in Isaiah, 66 books in the Bible. Thus saith the Lord, The heaven is my throne, and the earth is my footstool. Where is the house that ye build unto me, and where is the place of my rest? We're going to cover that in the book of Revelation. Verse 2, for all these things hath mine hand made, and all those things have been, saith the Lord. But to this man will I look, even to him that is poor and of a contrite spirit, and trembleth at my word. Well, that was definitely not the Pharisees in the days of Jesus. Verse 3. He that killeth an ox is as if he slew a man. He that sacrifices a lamb as if he cut off a dog's neck. He that offereth an oblation as if he offered swine's blood. He that burneth incense as if he blessed an idol. Yea, they have chosen their own ways, and their soul delighteth in their abominations. I also will choose their delusions and will bring their fears upon them, because when I called, none did answer. When I spake, they did not hear. But they did evil before mine eyes, and choose that in which I delighted not. Hear the word of the Lord, ye that tremble at his word. Your brethren that hated you, that cast you out for my name's sake, said, Let the Lord be glorified, but he shall appear to your joy, and they shall be ashamed. A voice of noise from the city, a voice from the temple, a voice of the Lord that rendered recompense to his enemies. Oh, the Lord has enemies. You'd never know it listening to the modern church world. Why, they, God loves everybody. So they lie to us. Verse 7. Before she travailed, she brought forth. Before her pain came, she was delivered of a man-child. I believe this is a direct reference to Mary giving birth to Christ. Verse 8. Who hath heard such a thing? Who hath seen such things? Shall the earth be made to bring forth in one day? Or shall a nation be formed? born at once 
For as soon as Zion travailed, she brought forth her children. Shall I bring to the birth and not cause to bring forth, saith the Lord? Shall I cause to bring forth and shut the womb, saith, the, saith thy God? Rejoice ye with Jerusalem, and be glad with her, all ye that love her. Rejoice for joy with her, all ye that mourn for her, that ye may suck and be satisfied with the breasts of her consolations, that ye may milk out and be delighted with the abundance of her glory. For thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will expend, I will extend peace to her like a river, and the glory of the Gentiles like a flowing stream. Then shall ye suck, ye shall be borne upon her sides, and be dandled upon her knees. Dandled uh, means to dance. I guess it's like bouncing on the knee. I'd never heard of that word before. I know I've read it before, but uh, maybe I'm just getting old and Alzheimer's setting in, huh? Verse 13. As one whom his mother comforteth, so will I comfort you, and ye shall be comforted in Jerusalem. And when ye see this, your heart shall rejoice, and your bones shall flourish like an herb, and the hand of the Lord shall be known toward his servants, and his indignation, extreme hatred, and his indignation toward his enemies. For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh and the slain of the Lord shall be many. They that sanctify themselves and purify themselves in the gardens behind one tree in the midst, eating swine's flesh and the abomination and the mouse, shall be consumed together, saith the Lord. For I know their works and their thoughts. It shall come that I will gather all nations and tongues, and they shall come and see my glory. And I will set a sign among them, and I will send those that escape of them unto the nations, to Tarshish, Pull, and Lud, that draw the bow, to Tubal and Javan, to the isles afar off. Now, Javan is, from my understanding, it's reference to Greece. So, and Javan to the isles afar off that have not heard my fame neither have seen my seen my glory and they shall declare my glory among the gentiles and they shall bring all your brethren for an offering unto the lord out of all nations upon horses and in chariots and in litters and upon mules and upon swift beasts to my holy mountain jerusalem saith the lord as the children of israel bring an offering in a clean vessel into the house of the Lord. And I will also take of them for priests and for Levites, saith the Lord. For as the new heavens and the new earth, which I will make, shall remain before me, saith the Lord, so shall your seed and your name remain. And it shall come to pass that from one new moon to another and from one Sabbath to another shall all flesh come to worship before me, saith the Lord. And they shall go forth and look upon the carcasses, and they shall go forth and look upon the carcasses of the men that have transgressed against me. For their worm shall not die, neither shall their fire be quenched, and they shall have an abhorring unto all flesh. Boy, Jesus said something along those lines too. All right, this is part A. We're going to do a part B. 
So stay tuned. Um, all blessings, praise, glory, and honor to God the Father and His only begotten Son, Jesus, who is the Christ, the Lamb of God, slain from the foundation of the world. In Jesus' precious name, amen. <laughs>